Welcome to Body Work. Welcome back. It's Michael Rogers. Welcome to Body Work Boxing. The first thing to come to mind when I think about this fight between Virgil Ortiz Jr. and Imantis Stanyanis is brutality. You know what I'm saying? This this is a Mortal Kombat fight. It has Fody potential, fight of the year potential. This is not just Rock'em Sock'em Robots, even though there will be a little bit of that. This is a high speed warrior barbaric chess match with two body punchers. Stan Giannis is 14 and 0 with nine KOs. And Virgil Ortiz is 19 and 0 with 19 KOs. They stopped everybody that been in the ring with him. CompuBox wouldn't really allow me to get a general snapshot of everything, so I had to look at the Michael McKinson fight, and I looked at the Maurice Hooker fight, and I figured since Maurice Hooker, for the time while it lasted, was actually fighting back instead of like using his legs and moving around a lot, I went with those statistics to come up with what I saw, and believe it or not, these guys are almost like CompuBox twins. Now I had to pro- I had to project. Now, granted, Stanyanis, he's a tough customer. People don't last with him. He don't go, you know, all the way through a full fight, you know. But, um, Imanta Stanyanis has won a full fight, and he actually got a majority decision against Butai. But when I look at these stats, man, these guys are high-volume punchers. We're talking about projections of six or seven hundred punches a fight you know um when it came down to Virgil I had like a seven rounds of information to go by so I had to project and what it what it really lands at is in total punches these guys are as far as accuracy on everything they throw they're like 37 percent you know um body punching I think Virgil Ortiz is one of the most relentless body punchers in the game. In my boxers to watch collection, I call him the piranha because once he smells blood, it's over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's more relentless. Um, I think he's one of the most effective body punchers um, outside of Earl Spence. I think he's a little bit more aggressive. And when it comes to the body, I think Earl is a little bit more polished. But they're both known for that body work. Now, looking at Stan Giannis. Stanyanis goes to the body. He's very effective going to the body as well. Um, when we're talking about jabs, these guys will be around about 80, 90 jabs a fight. Accuracy rate. Stanyanis seems like he might be a little bit more accurate. He has a very sharp um, snapping jab. He has an educated jab. He can hurt you with it. He can snap it out there. And I think that jab kind of surprises him. Um, surprises his opponents. He's at 30%. Um, we'll be looking at Virgil at like 26% on the jabs. And as far as their opponents landing or not landing, they are, even though they were dealing with some high volume punches, their uh, opponents wasn't having much success. I think that even though they have brutal styles, I think their defense is better than what you would think if you just looked at the numbers. Because you got to actually watch him fight. And when I saw Stan Giannis, he has good head movement. He's subtle. You know, um... But let's get down to the power punches. Power punches, I think Virgil would probably um, outwork Stan Giannis in power punches. But I think Stan Giannis will outwork Virgil in jabs. So that might kind of balance out. But the magic number for power punches that I always talk about is around 44%. Well, guess what? We're looking at Virgil at about 45%, um, which I think if he had a more active or a younger opponent, if we had somebody better to gauge by, I think that percentage would be down a little bit because he would have to deal with what's coming in. But we have Stan Giannis right around 42%. So they're right in that sweet spot when it comes to power punches. When you're able to land about 44%, anything 40 and above is good. But if you that key number is like 44% and above, it, it indicates that you have a dominant performance in a fight if you're able to connect to that. That's one of the standing statistics that tank live by you know on that category um so i say that they're copy box twins um i think in this fight the stronger chin wins <laughs> let me say it again the stronger chin wins in this fight you know we got 
Virgil Ortiz coming off his second um, bout that was cited um, with rhabdomyolysis. Um, the research I did is it can mess up your kidneys is when your muscle break down and start releasing muscle fibers out into your bloodstream. Um, it damages the kidneys. And to my surprise, it's something that can be inherited or you can get it from being malnutrition. So I always question whether or not, um, cause Virgil is a big boy. I think Virgil is like 5'11", 6 feet maybe now. Um, uh, his legs are a lot bigger than what, cause when you look at him, he kind of looks slender, but he has a solid foundation in his legs and he's not um, a frail guy. He's solid, he's well put together. I think that his long, his tall, narrow frame is misleading, but he's a solid guy. So I was thinking, man, maybe is he really built for 54? We don't know. We got Stan Giannis coming off of appendectomy, which is a little surgery. They pull out your appendix, got to eat a little whatever. I think you got to reduce your fatty foods and all that, but he's a consummate professional, very cerebral. Heard both of them guys talk. They speak, you know, about boxing, about the, uh, the X's and O's. They have high level boxing IQs and they are very sharp at their craft. You know, um, Stan Giannis is a Lithuanian. He went to the Olympics. Um, Virgil, he's just been on a tear, just tearing it up. I think, you know, his little bouts with the rhabdomyolysis have come into question as to who he is right now at this current time, but he made easy work out of McKinson. So I think that Stan Giannis has a granite chin and he has a slab of ribs, meaning he can take a licking and keep on ticking. But his skin does bruise, and so if he is connected, even though he might not have got hit that hard, his skin's gonna show. So he marks up very easy. Um, I don't think this is gonna go the distance. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this is gonna go the distance, and we have seen how aggressive Virgil gets when he actually hits you and gets you hurt. But I really don't think this is going the distance. This is gonna be a high speed chess match of two rough, rugged, highly active, highly aggressive, um, I think the Virgil's a little more aggressive than Stan Giannis, fighters who gonna duke it out Mortal Kombat style, for real. I don't think you wanna go get no popcorn for this one. I think you wanna sit down and have your eyeballs glued to the screen. And I also think that this fight right here and the vertical of this fight has high implications on what happens at 47. Now we gotta see how Virgil makes the weight, if he makes the weight and feels good and healthy. But I think that the winner of this fight, even the loser of this fight, you know, this might even be rematch or whatever. I think this is that caliber of fight. But the winner, and depending on what kind of effort the loser faces, man, is high implications in 47, along with Boots, Romain Vila, we still got Speedy Rashiri. You know, you got some of the older gentlemen like Ugas and, and Keith Thurman. So I think the kingdom of 147, man, once Earl and Bug get done doing what they're doing, you know, I think that one of these two guys along with Boots are going to be up there at 47. And I think that it's going to be a surprise. I think it's going to be a surprise young boy that pop up at 47. It's going to kind of put, kind of shake everything up at 47. But I would love to know what you think about this fight. I would love to get your comments and your takes on this fight. Um, I'm excited for it. You know, I was I was bummed out when it got pushed back, but I'm glad that boxing, man, we're in such a great place in boxing right now. Where we're really getting all of the fights that we want. Like right now, I think that they put everybody that's been weak and everybody that's been running, everybody been ducking and dodging and hiding. It's really exposing a lot of people, man. This is not gonna be one of these fights. This fight is in line with the Stephen Fulton in the way. The Terrence Bud Crawford and Earl Spence, the Jamel Charlo and Canelo, the Tank and Ryan. Um, this is one of those fights. Caleb Plant, Benavidez, this is up there. One of them fights with a boxing guy said, hey, you know what? We've been playing around for the last couple years. Let's go ahead and give them, you know what I'm saying, what they want. And we appreciate them. But I would love to know who you have in this fight. You know, I think that it is a pick em fight. Um, and I was going to hold off my position, my prediction, but I think that Stan Giannis can surprise. Now, Virgil is my guy. I'm just saying as far as the level of competition, because when I seen Stan Giannis deal with that dude, Butaev, who is a rough, rugged, he had, what, 14 fights, nine knockouts as well. Um, at the time, um, he beat, a, he beat Jamal James. 
Very rough, very rugged. Just one of them guys that, man, you got a dag on there. Kill him to actually knock him out. When I seen him deal with it and showcase the skill and the intestinal fortitude and dig deep, he got dog. It kind of made me think, okay, outside the surgery, I think as of late he's faced the, the stiffer competition. But I still got Virgil, man. I I I can't pick one for sure. But if I had if I had to uh, put some money down and say, all right, somebody put a gun to my head, I'm gonna say, man, Stan Giannis eats this out. You know, um, got much love for for Virgil and. If Stan Giannis has been playing around or there's been any lapses in camp, Virgil going to come see about him. That's what I had on this fight, man. I hope everybody enjoy it, man. I think that um, these are two boxers that you want to get in tune with. Cause just because Stan Giannis is from Lithuania, I mean, he, he speaks very well, very clear. He has a sense of humor. Um, he fights like a little baby Earl Spence, for real, for real, when you look at it. And Stan Giannis being around, you know, down there around Earl and looking up to Earl and having been around, you know, he has a lot of the properties that Spence has with that dedicated body work. So I think this is um this is a treat and I look forward to it. Anyways, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in here at Body Work Boxing. Well we don't take things for face value. We do that body 